So when we talk about um, life and its development in the womb, it is, I always say it's, it's just a miracle that anyone <laughs> is ever conceived and born because all of the things that have to come together um, for that to happen and all of the processes and, and a baby growing in the womb. And so some people like to argue, well, things like abortion are okay because it's not, it's not a living human being that's in there. It's just a clump of cells, a mass of cells. Um, so when does life really begin? And so, you know, as Christians, um, there's two things. One is we look to the Bible for our answers, and we know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and that God has numbered all of our days, and he has a plan and purpose for us before we are ever born. There are many scriptures that make that clear. And so we would say that life, from a biblical standpoint, life begins at fertilization. When the egg and the sperm meet and the DNA is all there, that's making up a unique individual. Um, now, I would say from a scientific standpoint, that should make, that should just be common sense that that's when life begins because now you have a unique individual that's different from both mom and dad, a unique combination of DNA that is going to be able to um, produce a human, you know, that is going to grow, continue to grow. It already is a human being. It's just a growing um, human being. So we would look at that from both perspectives and say, yes, life begins at fertilization.